now in the CI kitchen making stuffed peppers with you by Extension's registered <laughs> dietitian, Leia Kedam. So yes. We're to finish our filling now. We're finishing our filling. So for those who missed the first part, our filling started with some chopped onions sautéed in the pan. We browned our 90-10 lean ground beef. I just seasoned it with some salt and pepper. Now we're going to add some canned tomatoes. Okay. So that's going to add some nice flavor and more color, some nice uh, extra nutrition, vitamin C. So we, we lost some of the vitamin C from the peppers. We're adding it back in with the tomatoes. Mm -hmm. we got to do some garlic. Okay, fresh garlic. And we just give that a little bit of a stir. And then we just add in our cooked rice. You want to hand that to me? Yeah. Now we're doing brown rice, cooked brown rice. Um, a lot of recipes call for white, but I really like to use brown just because it holds up better. It doesn't get as mushy, mm -hmm. so it's it's a lot um, harder to overcook it compared to white rice. And also, it has a ton more nutrition, more fiber, more vitamins, more minerals, which are all good things, I think. You know what I have found? The rice in the frozen section. Mm -hmm. Have you seen that? It's just yeah. like in a bag. Pop it in the microwave. Bam! You got your rice. You Those are have awesome. To measure out anything. It's all right there for you. For sure. I mean, there are tons of ways to get rice for recipes. We've got the instant rice, which takes like five minutes. You've got the packets you can put in the microwave. The frozen rice. This kind. This was the kind that takes like 45 minutes. If you've got some time to just let it sit on the stove, why not? Right. So yeah, rice is a great ingredient um, to add some nutrition here. Simple mm. carbs with rice. I mean, it, the easy, more easy to digest, right? They're not going to hang with you for a yeah, long time. Yeah, rice is um, easier to digest for some people. It's also gluten free. You know, if you're concerned with that, if you have celiac disease. Um, so I guess this recipe, if you think about it, is um, gluten free. You know, if there's nothing in here that would have gluten, um, you want to double check on packaged ingredients if they're going to be gluten free or not. Sure. So, um, the only that, seasoning you got in there is salt and pepper, right? Salt and pepper. Now we're going to add some fresh parsley, more mm -hmm. color, more nutrition. Believe it or not, parsley actually <laughs> has vitamin A in it. It's like kind of like really? spinach, dark leafy greens. Oh, sure. Yeah. Um, parsley is actually a good source of vitamin A. Um, and then we're going to add our Parmesan cheese. Now that's right gonna now, add or is that a lot of cheese. We're gonna we're not gonna use it all in the film. We've gotta add some incorporated right. in. Matt, are you test? Yeah, you're, ta you're tasting it. Making oh, sure is that, that not where I was supposed to add it? It's good. It's supposed to go in. in darn it! Gosh, I, I know. Well, right. You gotta share some. Mm. Save some for us here. Oh, that's good. Now we are gonna reserve mm. some to actually uh, toss. In on my top mouth? of the pepper. Excellent idea. <laughs> <laughs> I guess toss was the wrong word. So <laughs> sprinkle uh, onto the peppers when we're done. So this is our filling here. Do you want that cheese to melt before you stuff the peppers? Not necessarily. It's going to be in the oven. So uh, once we fill our peppers, we're going to cook them in the oven at 350 for about mm, 20, 25 minutes until the filling is heated through. The cheese on top has melted. And, you know, the cheese that's incorporated throughout is going to melt as well. Yeah. So that's pretty Pretty much it. Everything is cooked through already, so it's really more of a you know get everything all married together in the in the peppers. Not yeah. so much for food safety. Because we've already got our peppers softened from boiling That's right. them, and now we're just gonna stuff so and bake. It's easy. You just stuff your peppers. You're gonna divide divide the filling evenly. You might have some left over, so you, know, you can just mm. eat that with yeah. a spoon if you want. But oh, oh yeah. what a shame! I know. Mm, it's that so looks terrible. so good. Yeah. Okay. Leah, thanks so much. We're gonna have the final presentation coming up. In the meantime, if you want to see Leah's recipe, go to CIliving.tv. We'll be back.